Hi, my name's Al from Learning by Questions, and this video is just a short demonstration to show you some of the key features of LBQ so you can see just why it is so effective at improving progress both within and outside of the classroom. Let's begin with the questions themselves. In this chemistry question, students are being asked to calculate the relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide. When a student gets one of our questions wrong, they are provided with feedback from an experienced science teacher. And the aim of this feedback is to specifically address why the student got that question wrong in the first place. For example, some students might not know what to do with the subscript number two, and they may simply add the relative atomic mass of one carbon atom to the relative atomic mass of one oxygen atom to get an answer of 28. Here we can see the feedback explicitly tells the students the importance of that subscript number two. Similarly, if a student makes the mistake of thinking the subscript number two applies to both the carbon and oxygen atoms and gives an answer of 56, they will receive a different bespoke feedback, again addressing that very misconception. This bespoke feedback acts as a teacher on the shoulder of the students and allows students to build resilience. And it also reduces the demand for the teacher so the teacher can be spending time with students who really most need it at that time. The live data matrix which populates in real time as students are answering questions is an incredibly powerful tool for the teacher. This data matrix allows a teacher to see exactly how every single student has done on every single question regardless of how vocal or quiet that student might be. It takes less than a second between a student answering a question and the data appearing on the live matrix, ensuring that a teacher knows exactly who they need to help at that point of need. Looking at this more heavily populated data matrix, we can see how easy it is for a teacher to identify patterns in the classroom. For example, teachers can look horizontally and analyze the performance of individual pupils, such as pupil number eight at the top of this list, who's clearly struggling. Or a teacher can look vertically to see how their class as a whole are dealing with individual questions. And here we can see question 10 is posing a real problem. Once a problem has been identified, it's time to put some intervention in place. Simply click on the question number and hit view responses. That will bring you to this page here where you can get more information about how the students are struggling. For example, we can see all of the student responses and the most common wrong answers. Intervention can be provided by the teacher using our interactive whiteboard. The teacher can model how this question should be answered before then using the ad hoc question function to make sure that students have benefited from that intervention. This function places a text box on the screens of all students who can then explain to the teacher what they've just learned. And these responses can be shown and scrolled through in front of the class by the teacher just seconds later. Using LBQ in this way saves a teacher hours of work. It now allows a teacher to identify a problem, to deal with the problem, and to assess the effectiveness of the intervention within just a small segment of a lesson. No more creating huge question level analysis spreadsheets and using them to inform the start of the next lesson. This is all done in the moment, in the classroom, and exactly when it's going to be most beneficial. The live data matrix isn't just for classroom use, however, it will also be populated while students do homework or independent study. Independent study can be set in two different ways. If you're halfway through a question set with the students, in the middle of a lesson, it can easily be converted to homework simply by pressing this button here. Simply select the date and time that you want the homework to be finished and you can even leave the students a message. You'll also see this pop-up bar at the side which allows you to toggle on or off individual students for that homework so different students can be receiving different independent study tasks. You'll notice a colour bar next to each student's name which gives the teacher a very handy at a glance reminder of how the student has done in this topic already during the lesson. Or alternatively, you may choose to set students independent study from scratch, which is easily done just using this button here. The content for LBQ is highly comprehensive and adaptable. On the home screen, we can see that our question sets have been grouped in terms of topic. And these topics can either be searched visually or you can use a keyword search in the top right hand box here, as well as an applying a year filter. A very useful part of the website is the scheme section. Clicking onto the scheme, we can see out of the box, we have combined science AQA schemes, separate science AQA schemes, and schemes for Edexcel. If we click on the separate science biology Edexcel scheme, we can see that the specification headings are found on the right hand side. And if we click a drop down arrow, all of the question sets that relate to that part of the specification can be found. These schemes are highly adaptable. You can create your own and you don't have to use a specification as a template. You may wish to package our question sets so they fit your own particular in-house scheme of work or your particular textbook that you might be using. It's a very useful tool in facilitating consistency across a department. LBQ has a range of question set types. 
We have mastery question sets, which help students learn and understand a topic. We have vocabulary question sets, which help remove scientific terminology as a barrier to learning. We have practice question sets, so students can practice calculations and rearranging equations. We have skills question sets, where students can work on scientific skills, such as identifying variables or calculating the mean. And we also have end of topic reviews, end of year quizzes, and GCSE practice examination papers. So this has been LBQ in a nutshell, but remember, we've only looked at some of the features that LBQ can offer yourself and your students. There really is so much more to explore. So good luck.